Welcome to part three of how to build a chatbot app for Android. Um, at the end of part two, we were left with something like this, whereby we had a button that fires off the speech recognizer. So when you talk to it, it tries to work out based on a series of keywords, what's been said, and then fire back an appropriate response. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how we uh, remove some um, words that we don't want to be processed by the app. So these could be swear words, it could be um, other, uh, other, other keywords that we don't want to be uh, associated with any inputs or outputs, making the app um, user friendly for all basically. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we first need to create a variable um, and that variable will store a list of the words we don't want. So into variables and initialize global variable here. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're just going to call this one um, sensor uh, for obvious reasons and because it's going to be a list of items, we're going to make a list. Simple. Okay, so this block here allows us to make a list of uh, as many things as we want to in our list. Uh, you can see it only has space for two items in our list at the minute, but we use the cog um, by clicking on the cog, we can then drag in other items and you, you can expand your list um, for any length that you, you wish. Okay, each item in our list is going to be a keyword, so it's going to be text. Okay, and what we can do is we can just add in three blank uh, text boxes here. And in these boxes, we are going to put uh, the words that we don't want to be processed or inputted or outputted for that matter. Um, in our chatbot. So we're going to create words. Uh, these can be any words that you want, but I don't want uh, items of fruit being uh, processed in my uh, in my chatbot. Okay, um, because people, some people might get offended with um, um, on seeing or reading or hearing um, fruit-based items. Okay, so in our response where it's going through processing the input that we've provided in part two, we basically want to intercept this point here at the very beginning of the procedure. <clears throat> so it filters out our words that we don't want. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first things first, we go up to control. And in control, we have a block here. So for each item in a particular list, do something which is perfect for what we're after. So we grab that, okay, and we pop that at that stage there, okay. So it's going to cycle through every item in a particular list. And what list are we going to cycle through? Well, it's our sensor item. So back into variables and get, okay, and in the drop down, we select the variable that we want for, we want to process. So for every item in our uh, list variable called sensor, let's do something. And what are we going to do? Well, we are going to first update the input variable that's coming in. Okay, so we're going to input it with our, uh, uh, our, our original input minus these words that we don't want to be included. Okay, and we simply do that by uh, into text, okay, and there's a nice replace block, replace all text. So we're going to pop it in here, and you can see it's asking for three pieces of information. The first is what input we are going to um, we are going to process. So this is the whole input variable, and we can get again. We can grab that um, original input. Okay, and um, it's going to look for, uh, the segment is what it's going to look for. So in this case, we can drag the get item, okay, the particular item in the list. So it takes a, an item at a time and washes it through this routine, okay. So it's going to check the input um, variable for the particular item, and once it's found it, we can then do, do something with it. We can blank it out. Or we can just put a load of X's there or something to, to mark the fact that um, the original input contained a word that we, we didn't want um, 
to hear or be included. Okay, so now when we um, provide an input, it's going to first check it against the list of undesirable words, uh, blank them out before going through the usual routine that we covered in part two. Uh, and that's all I wanted to cover today, short and sweet. Um, if you want to grab the whole file of the um, original chat box that, we, uh, that I showed you in part one, um, check out the, the link in the description uh, where you can grab it along with any other um, coding resources that I, I, I have made available. Um, and you can hit the ground running with a full-blown version of this app. But um, yep, stay tuned for part four where we'll be progressing this project on further. Thank you. Bye bye. Done.